Welcome to Ask Grandma Carol. Some of you have asked about baking bread. It's fun to get in the kitchen and bake bread. Today we're going to bake a loaf of bread and you're going to be surprised at how easy it is to do. So let's bake bread. Everyone has eaten white bread, but there are many other kinds of bread to enjoy, like rye bread and wheat bread. There are also specialty breads like cinnamon raisin and cranberry walnut. The basic concept for all of them is the same. A basic recipe calls for flour, yeast, salt, and water. Some breads require additional ingredients. Unlike a cake or cookies where you mix up all the ingredients and can immediately bake them, bread needs time to rise. Bread making requires patience. The yeast that is used to make bread is a living organism. It is activated when mixed with lukewarm or cool water and then makes the bread rise. Breads that are activated with yeast need to rise at least twice. So let's get started. Today we're going to make white bread, but it won't be like the white bread you have probably had at home. We are going to make an artisan bread that will look beautiful and taste great. It will have a hearty crust and the crumb, that's the soft part inside the crust, will look and taste a lot better than the white bread you buy at the store. Let's put all the ingredients into a mixing bowl. First, add three cups of bread flour. You can use regular white flour if you don't have bread flour, Bread flour has more protein in it than regular flour. Now add one and a half teaspoons of salt on one side of the bowl, followed by one fourth teaspoon instant yeast on the other side. We don't put the salt and yeast right next to each other in the bowl because salt kills yeast. Give it a nice stir so it's all mixed together. Pour in 12 ounces of lukewarm to cool tap water and we're ready to mix. You can mix by hand, but I prefer to use a mixer. If you are using a mixer, it's a good idea to mix for several minutes. You'll need to mix longer if you do it by hand. Take the dough out of the bowl and work it some more. If it's too sticky, add a little more flour. When you are done, place the dough back in the bowl. Cover it with plastic wrap. I use a plastic shower cap and put it someplace warm. I put it in the oven and turn on the oven light to boost the temperature just slightly. Here's where patience comes in. The bread will take about eight hours to rise. If you mix the ingredients before bed, you can get back to your dough in the morning. If you make your dough in the morning, you can return to it later in the day. The dough has risen. Now we need to punch it down so it can rise a second time. Cover it and place it someplace warm. You may want to cover it with towels. The second rise will take an hour and a half. A half an hour before it's ready to bake, we'll preheat the oven to 450 degrees. While you don't have to use a Dutch oven, this will give our artisan bread the best result. Put the Dutch oven in the oven while it's preheating. It's time to bake the bread. Take the cover off the Dutch oven and carefully place the dough inside. It's best to let a grown-up do this so no one gets burned. Replace the cover and bake the bread for half an hour. After half an hour, slide the oven rack out and remove the cover. Bake the bread with no cover for an additional 5 to 15 minutes. How long depends on how hearty you like your crust. I sometimes let my bread continue to bake uncovered for more than 15 minutes because I like a thick, crunchy crust. Now take the Dutch oven out of the oven and remove the bread. Oh my, what a beautiful rustic looking artisan bread. Don't start to slice the bread until it has cooled down. Cooling is best done on a rack. The bread has cooled. It's time for a taste test. I love the heel because it has so much tasty crust. And just look at the inside. 
It has a beautiful crumb. Mmm. Great alone or smeared with butter or jam. I'll post the recipe at AskGrandmaCarol.com so you can bake bread with an adult in your home. Do you have a question for Grandma Carol? Email me at AskGrandmaCarol at Yahoo.com. Yours just might be one of the questions I answer on the show. And don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and click the bell to be notified when new Ask Grandma Carol videos come out. I'm so glad you're here. Share your